Hey everybody, it's Allison, the Holistic Homesteader. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys today. So this is a continuation of all of the goodies that Nani has given us. Nani is my mom. She is Nani over on Nani's Life, the Dollar Tree hauler. All of this stuff was gifted to us from her. I said in one of the original videos that, um, you know, she buys so much stuff to show you guys what the Dollar Tree has that she often has a ton of things and she tries to divvy it out between myself, my stepsisters, all the grandkids. And this is what we ended up with. So I picked, this is not everything that she gave us by any means. Um, she gave us a ton of things. These are the things that I pulled out that were our favorites or things that I was like, wow, I cannot believe that the Dollar Tree had that for $1.25. On the holistic end of things, no, not everything is organic, non-GMO. Um, this this is the homesteader side of things where we like to save money. All right, I'm just going to jump right in with the items that were on the cover. First up, we have this LA Colors Your Peachy uh, Lip Gloss. It's this little duck, I think. I think that's a, a little duck. This is in the Peach Sherbert. And this is a new item. It is scented lip balm, 0.37 ounce or 10.5 gram. Um, London has a couple other ones of these. I think my niece has one too. Uh, they are super hydrating. They smell really great. I'm sure the ingredients are not the best. Um, I don't even wanna look at it. <laughs> I saw mineral oil as ingredient number one and I'm like, eh. Anyway. It's really cute and it makes great you know little gift or a little prize if you're a teacher um yeah they smell great they hydrate your lips at least i guess that's a win for a dollar 25. all right the next thing up in the cover was this sesame street one two three sesame street wet and wild eyeshadow palette i thought that this was so cool um London does a lot of things for school where she will dress up. <laughs> One of them is for the 100th day of school. They usually, well, I don't really know if she's supposed to, but she does it anyway because she's just like that. Uh, she likes to dress up as a 100-year-old lady. And if you've ever watched The Nanny with Fran Fine, it was like on in the early 90s. We always go for a Yetta <laughs> kind of look. That's always our inspiration. And um, why can I not get this open? Wowzers. Um, <laughs> holy crap. Ah, got it. <laughs> Took me four years, but we finally got it open. I wanted to get it open because you can see I'm using a ring light. It's kind of shadowy in here. And I didn't want the glare to be on there, but you can see all of the different shades. I was saying that Yetta is always our inspiration and I feel like Yetta's character always had the really, really crazy funky eyeshadow. Some of these we could even use as like uh, blush and stuff. So yeah, nice eyeshadow palette. I do not wear eyeshadow, so I never really have anything funky like this on hand for her. We've actually had to borrow stuff from my mother-in-law. Not that she has like palettes like this or anything, but we've had to borrow makeup from her, especially like blush and stuff because I don't wear it. I'm a moisturizer and mascara and go kind of gal. All right, since we were talking, this hair of mine is wild today. Since we were talking about makeup, I wanted to show this really cute pack of makeup brushes. This is a cosmetic brush set and it's eight pieces. Comes with a variety of brushes. We have a blush, these are the brushes, blush, highlighter, foundation, lip, spoolie, angled crease, and eyeliner. These are the travel size, they're like mini. Great for in a bag, great for putting on that eyeshadow for London and her transformation into Yetta. Next, we have Scrunchy Brand. These are hair clips. They are called Salon Clips. And these are great for holding back hair. Let me try to pop one out of here. It comes in two different sizes. So this would be cute even just for in hair, especially London. Uh, she still likes having her hair done for school. And these would be 
they really hold a lot of hair. Especially this big one. <laughs> holds a ton of hair and it has these claws so it holds really well. So we got a two pack of that. It's like a light bluish color. Love that it's scrunchy brand. Uh, next we have this two pack of razors. These are these are coconut scented handles. Never have seen that before. That's funky. This is a short brand. They are three blades per razor. We have the pink and the green. It is a two pack. They are disposable razors. They are made in the USA. That's nice. one more makeup type item here and this is another LA Colors. This is a stamp pen and it's this little tiny butterfly shape. Um, it just leaves, I'll open it up, it just leaves a little stamper on your skin. This is really cute. I can see London putting those all over the place, but just a little stamp pen. It is in the color black. This says tam tattoo stamp pen, temporary tattoo. This is the butterfly as a shelf life of about six months. And it was, let's see, made in China, unfortunately, but still a really cute, fun thing, especially for kids. I don't think I would wear this myself, but I totally see London doing that. All right, I only have about three items remaining. I'm gonna show you guys. This is an item that we picked up ourselves. Everything else has been from Nani, but I have gone to the Dollar Tree and picked us up random things here and there. This is one of those items. We were in desperate need of hangers. I love going to the Dollar Tree for hangers. You get seven for $1.25. So it has these integrated accessory has these integrated accessory hooks. These are, um, it says integrated accessory hooks, versatile and lightweight, sturdy plastic value pack. This is Closet Essentials brand. So we got a pack of those. Then we got something London has been desperate to eat. She's going to be so excited that I finally filmed this video because she keeps asking, when can I eat these? When can I eat these? This is Oops All Berries um, cereal. So this is like Captain Crunch, but it's all berries. It says um, it is a 3.1 ounce bag, 150 calories per serving. Um, the serving size is one and a quarter cup naturally and artificially flavored it has a resyllable so you rip the top off and it has a resyllable closure which is nice this says um let me see best before date of august 23rd 2024 the ingredients on this are not going to be great if you are somebody who is trying to avoid artificial colors this does have red 40, blue one, yellow five in it. So you want to avoid it if you are somebody that is trying to steer clear of artificial colors. Otherwise, this is a great little snack. I don't know if she's necessarily going to eat this for breakfast. That's not something that we ever really do here. I try to be more nutritious, but this would fall into that 20 percentile um, where we eat healthy, organic, non-GMO, locally grown, home raised, etc. Uh, 80% of the time and then the other 20% of the time we have stuff like this and I can see her just pouring a little bowl of this and eating it as a snack so all right Captain Crunch all berries and then the last item we have here is another name brand we have a Betty Crocker pizza crust mix I've never made one of these before just the other day I bought pizza crust in a tube for the very first time I have always either made my own homemade pizza crust. You can make it super simply with um, just self-rising, is that what they call it? Self-rising flour, I think, and um, Greek yogurt. 
Those two ingredients make a great pizza crust. I've also used frozen Rhodes bread as pizza crust. That is awesome too. Have never made it with a mix though, so I'm excited to try this. This is, um, let's see, 6.5 ounce. It makes one 12 inch pizza crust. All you need is half a cup of hot water, not boiling water, hot water. Best by date of October 5th, 2024. All right, everybody, I hope you have enjoyed this Dollar Tree haul. I still have a few more Dollar Tree hauls to come, so you'll have to stay tuned. Make sure to hit the follow button, subscribe, whatever it's called, like button, uh, leave some comments. You know the drill. We will see you next time. Bye.